doesn't love tots and Domino's has a brand new menu item brand new loaded tots man they got a they got a cheddar bacon loaded tots they got a Philly cheesesteak loaded tots and then they got a plain one with cheese I didn't get the plain one with cheese but I did get the other two oh and it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be but let's check it out after this Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brick, but that's right, baby. I love tots, man. When I was a kid, that was one of my favorite things in the world is when they parents would buy the big bag of frozen tots and throw it out on an oven pan and bake them for you. Oh, ooh, and you knew it was a special night when you got them covered in cheese. Matter of fact, I make tots now, but I do it in a deep fryer because they're better. And I cover them in Rico's, baby, with jalapenos. Oh, yeah, and bacon. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And chives if I have them. By the way, I wish I had a chive garden. Does anybody know how to do that? Is that, is that a thing? Like, can I have a chive garden so I could just have chives whenever I want? I feel like I feel like I don't have enough chives in my life. I don't know why. But back to the new menu item at Domino's Pizza. That's right. We have loaded tots. Now, there it is. Loaded tots. I'm going to get them both out. Let's check this out. Hold on. We'll do these simultaneously. So I was going to get all three, right? But they're $7.74 a piece, which is a really weird price. $7.74. It can make them $7.75 or $7.70, $7.99. I don't know. $7.74. It's like a sale item at Target, right? Like the last number is like the sale item. Maybe that's the code for new item. I don't know. But when I went to check out, it was $25 worth of tots, man. $25. I just couldn't do it. I, I couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I bought a whole bag of tots at Kroger for three bucks, okay? And I can fry them up myself. Put cheese on them and, you know, whatever. I'm out the door for less than five bucks. So, I just I just couldn't do it. So, I got the two bigger ones. I didn't get the plain cheese one. I got the cheddar bacon loaded tots. And I got the Philly cheesesteak loaded tots. Now, here they are. In all their glory. They look like, like rows and rows of tots. So, <laughs> this is the cheddar bacon, and this is the Philly. You know how I could tell the difference? Because the cheddar bacon has a garlic parmesan sauce, cheddar cheese blend, and bacon. And the Philly has an Alfredo sauce. Philly, ch the ch same cheddar cheese blend, uh, the Philly steak, green onions, and uh, my, what? Green peppers and onion. So this obviously has green peppers, so that's obviously the filling. Now they didn't give me a fork or anything, but luckily I'm in my truck today, so I am fully prepared with my own stuff. That's right, that's right. I have all kinds of stuff in my console. So I'm a professional eating person. All right, all right, are you ready? Because I'm ready. I love tots. Which one do you want to try first? Let's do the cheddar bacon. Oh, 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 you know what else? I got two sauces. Wasn't really a good sauce to go with the uh, the Philly cheesesteak. Um, so I got a ranch and I got hot buffalo. I don't know why. Um, I feel like with the chili cheesesteak, they should have a little cup of cheese whiz. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do they sell cheese whiz in little cups? I know I buy the big jar of it all the time. But I don't know if they have little cups. Maybe they do. Maybe they have little cups. Ooh, bring your own cheese whiz. I think that'd make it better. I don't know. Just guess. All right, here we go, tots. Okay, I'm pulling it off. Okay, so yeah. They come off in a big section with four tots. Uh, I don't think I can fit that whole thing in my mouth. So I'm going to have to break it up. I like this, this like burnt cheese on the bottom. Uh, that looks really good. And then I got cheddar. Uh, like I said, this one has the uh, the garlic parmesan sauce. Mm. Okay. I like the idea of the burnt cheese, but not when I ate it. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Okay, so here's some without some burnt cheese on it. And my first bite it tastes like burnt cheese tater tots. So let's try this. Oops. Just not feeling the bacon, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel any bacon love. Okay, okay, okay. Need a little bitty chunks of bacon. I'm gonna kind of burnt. Get overcooked mine. Look at that. See how burnt that bacon is? If you like crunchy burned bacon, you're gonna love this. 
That piece had a bacon that wasn't burnt. It was really good. Uh, and I've been super excited about this. I saw this yesterday. I got the email from Domino's and I was like, dude, load of jot. I know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Um, now that I'm eating it, eh. Okay, okay. So the bacon might just appears, might appears to be overcooked. See what I'm saying? I'm got like, got like the burnt cheese and it's on the top and on the bottom. But the tops are good. I just wish my bacon wasn't on burn. Maybe, maybe it'd be better if it wasn't overcooked. Okay, okay. Let's go to the Philly and see what the Philly tastes like. And the Philly, you see here. See now that, that Philly's cheese steak there. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? It doesn't look burnt at all. Okay, okay. Let me try another bite. <laughs> Tried to eat my fork. Now, I'm telling you, I was super excited about this. Now that I'm eating it, I don't know. It's just kind of meh. I mean, it's good. The Philly cheesesteak one just definitely doesn't have a lot of cheesesteak on it. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. It's a little bland. And for $7.74, maybe dipped in ranch. All right, hold on, hold on. Ranch. Tot. It's just bland. The Philly is bland. Um, I love this idea. This is so cool, and I'm really, really trying to find positive things to say about this, other than it's bland and meh. God, I love this idea. Even the guy I just bought it from, I asked him. I was like, hey, man, what do you, have you had them? Are they good? And he goes, oh, they're really good. Um, they're tots, okay? And uh, that piece has um, a big old piece of Philly cheesesteak on it, and it's really good. But most of the pieces don't have big old pieces of Philly cheesesteak on them. Most of the tots look like this. Hey, look at me. I got a little cheese on me. And this one, the bacon one, I'm telling you, this thing would be a lot better if it wasn't overcooked. Look at that bacon. Don't burn that bacon in. Mm -mm. I think this had potential. I think mine missed the mark. I think it's overcooked. My bacon's burned. And I think, I think it would be really good if that wasn't the case. Um... If it was, you know, properly go, I don't even know. Maybe it's supposed to be all burned up like that. I don't know. But I think if it was cooked less, it would be really good. The Philly one is pretty bland. Um, it's really, like I said, it's really good when you get a big piece of Philly, but there's just not that many pieces of Philly. So I give this kind of a, eh, um, both of them, actually. I kind of wish I would have got the third one. Um, but now, I don't know. Now I'd be really upset if I spent $24 on it. I just spent 16.76 and they're really not that big so for seven dollars and 74 cents you're not going to get a lunch out of this this is a good sharing item i think it would be really good maybe in a group setting where you're sharing pizzas and you have a couple tots kind of fun good bit you're not going to make a lunch out of this it's too bland and too burned so if you decide to get this make sure you get an order of pizza make sure you're sharing it with friends and uh it'd be fun for pizza night um, don't go to lunch and don't go buy just the tots to eat for lunch like I just did or you're going to be $16 deep and disappointed and if you get all three you're going to be $25 and $24 deep and very disappointed that's my uh, that's my honest review and uh, yeah hey if you go and you have this and you have a different experience that's okay I just had this experience. You can have whatever experience you're going to have. My experience on this video is not the all end all be all world. Okay? Just so you know. You know what I'm saying? Right? Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And hit that next uh, hit that next video right here. Hit that like button. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, keep trying all the new tots from Domino's Pizza. We'll see you.